We are so excited for this new Chucky. Chucky yes. is back. For those yes. of us who have been keeping up with this franchise for most of our lives, uh, how excited mm -hmm. were you to join this new series? And had Chucky already been a figment of your nightmares for decades? Yeah. So I, not in a million years, did I ever think I would be on the Chucky, uh, a part of the Chucky world. Um, I remember renting Chucky on VHS when I was a young kid, watching all the Chucky movies. Um, it, it was a huge part of our childhood. We, we quoted, we quoted Chucky all the time. And, and, um, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I worked with Stallone or, or Travolta and this is kind of the same. It's like, I, you could go back and tell 12 year old me that you're going to be doing stuff with Chucky. You know, it's amazing. And, and, and it's not just Chucky. It's a, it's a new updated version and it's great. And I'm so, I'm so excited. No, like you said, it's a new version. So some are calling it a reboot. Others are saying sequel. Can you set the record straight on where this story picks up and how it fits into the larger timeline? Yeah. So for for new for new viewers, it it's um, it's like a reboot. It's it starts fresh. It starts fresh with this young hot cast of of amazing actors, um, and it's a fresh new story. And you can just jump on. For the longtime fans like myself, um, we get some Jennifer Tilly back. We get the original cast members back. Um, Brad Dorf's doing the voice. Yeah. We get the visit the origin story. So we got a mix of both worlds. I would say 80% all brand new, 20% we're gonna, we're gonna sprinkle in a little uh, nostalgic Chucky for you. Love so. it. Well, something for the old fans, for the new fans, we love it. 100%. What, what is it about Chucky that makes this character such a timeless horror icon? Like you said, it's like working with Stallone. I mean, everybody knows who Chucky is. Yeah. I, I think that Chucky came from the the Cabbage Patch era era when when everybody was like, oh my God, Cabbage Patch, we gotta get a Cabbage Patch. And so the crazy mind of Don Mancini was like, what if what if a Cabbage Patch doll was killing people? And that's where kind of where Chucky came from. And and I think people I think people love that this cute kind of cute little red kinda. doll is uh, <laughs> he's got this kind of attitude and and. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's like Jason or, or Freddy. It's just original and it comes out of, you know, it, it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's scary and fun at the same time. I hope that answers your question. And, and it's fun to kind of root for the villain too, right? In a yeah. weird way. Yeah, hundred percent. That's probably, that's why I like it the most. It's like, you know, it, it, even in the series, I, there's, I play a bad, I play two bad guys and you kind of want Chucky to deal with me. You know what I mean? So he, even though he's the bad guy, you want him to, to figure some things out for the kids, you know? He so. takes care of other bad guys like yourself, right? He takes or care of the, uh, the not so fun bad guys. And you're playing twins. You said there's two characters. We hear they're twins. Is that okay yeah. to say? Absolutely, absolutely. I play uh, Logan and Lucas uh, Wheeler. Uh, one is a successful businessman, and the other one is a uh, uh, down on his luck mechanic who is turned to the bottle and can't get his you know stuff together. And so, and they're both they're both bad guys. Both bad you have to guys. Take your teeth into both. How was it taking on two roles in the same project? It's a lot of fun because once, like, I, I wore this this beard that took forever to put on every morning. And, and once you put that on and you put the, the coveralls and, and they put these big bags under your eyes and you kind of just slouch over it, just, you become this guy. And then the other guy is very straight and proper and he's got a nice suit and everything's his house. Is, and it just, it kind of just fits, you know? And the yeah. dialogue that Don Mancini gives is, um, it, it was a lot of, I, do, I did one scene with myself. And I, I think that's been one of the funnest things I've done in my whole career is where, you know, I get to, do everything this way and then you know it was just it's very rewarding as a as a as an artist no absolutely well congratulations on that something uh something new to try something new for the fans to see as well uh you mm. said that chucky fam is on board too we've got jennifer tilly we've got brad dorif we've got don mancini the creator back did yeah. you go back and watch the og child's play as an adult to prepare for this did you have a little yeah. movie marathon i did so i i hadn't seen child's play one since uh early nineties. And, yeah. and, uh, I bought them all on, uh, I probably don't probably would have given them to me, but I bought them all on iTunes and, and, uh, and I did a marathon and my wife watched them with me. And, um, number one stands the test. Number one and two stand the test of time. They're really, they're really very clever. Um, and I watched, I watched, uh, uh seed and cult and, and bride and, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was good.
Love it. Well, and tis the season as well. We can't wait for this to be here just in time for Halloween. Uh, you Thank are you. a dad of two and yes. the kids are still quite young. So how are you introducing them to some of your own fan favorite projects from over the years? Are you mm. starting with Casper and working right up to Final Destination or are they already way ahead of the game and doing Chucky with you? They, they uh, first of all, they won't have anything to do with Chucky. We've, we've- uh, A little we've, much, I guess. There's been an invite, but the invite didn't go. Uh, I put on Wild America one time. They weren't feeling it. Uh, they were might it might've been a little young. Um, we're going to, my son is seven. He, uh, we're going to start, you know, I don't know. I'm not rushing to show them my own catalog of films. Um, when they're interested, they can, there's a few that I'll, you know, break out, but, uh, yeah, it's a little weird. I don't know. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that, how would they react to seeing you on screen at all, let alone as a kid or a young adult? Well, I, I will say that the, I guess somebody's been talking to him in, at his school. I don't know whether it's a teacher or whatever, because he came back and he was interested in seeing Stan, uh, the Eminem Stan video. Thank you so like, much for bringing that up. We need to start with that. We're going to start with that one. It um, is a classic in its own right. And talk about it's Stan a classic, but time. Dad is not exactly the best dude in that video. Right. So. Any constructive criticism that you would expect to hear from them? Kids do say the darndest things, and they're a little usually wise beyond their years. Man, I, I know that's coming. I know that my son will be the first one or, or my daughter, whichever one, but I know they'll look at me and say, man, nah, it wasn't very good. And then, oh, you're right, you're right. So I'm, I'm waiting for that. So. Uh, having gotten your start in Hollywood at an early age yourself, are either of the kids showing interest in pursuing acting? Would you be here for that? Uh, what kind of wisdom and guidance would you share from your experience? Um, my daughter has showed interest and she's a, she's quite a character too she's um she's always on if they want to then i will suggest a theater um or something like that i don't know about putting them in the business um i, I think that they they can do just as much on stage for free you know mm -hmm. what i mean enjoy it enjoy the art of it get that and for creative fulfillment yeah and, and uh and then when they turn 18 if they would like to pursue it further then that's what they can do but uh yeah that's where we're at right now All but right. my daughter's really she's really showing a lot of interest we, so. we see the occasional video on your instagram and she's a ham and we love it it's very good oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you and you mentioned wild america uh huh? your twitter game is very strong and Thank you, you. posted a photo of Steve Martin and Martin Short. Oh, my that goodness. You and Research. Fellow, yes. Yes. <laughs> and fellow 90s team dream, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, yes. my fellow uh, elder millennials. Uh, let's see what you did there. And we really appreciate it. But of course, we need to know, did this lunch actually happen? And if not, please tell us there are at least plans underway. No, but we did speak on the phone. Um, it's got to be about a year now. And uh, it was nice to hear his voice. For, for the first time in, in quite some time. He's a, yeah. he's a nice guy and, and um, uh, yeah, I, I, I often make fun of the, 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 the you know, the, the assumed rivalry we had from those teen magazines, but uh, um, yeah, he's, he's a great guy. I don't know if we'll be having lunch anytime soon. I would be down for it if he wants to call me, um, but uh, it was good hearing his voice. Yeah, the invite is out there. The invite is out there. The invite nice. is out there. Well, keep us posted by all means. Thank uh, you're you. between Wild America, Casper, Final Destination, Idle Hands, Now and Then. Which cast reunion would you most want to see happen? And how much do you keep in touch with other co-stars like Christina Ricci, Seth Green? Yeah, I, I had a great cast reunion. Um, they, they, uh, Seth Green got a hold of me and told me that they go to this thing, they, they show Idle Hands on this rooftop in downtown LA. And I was like, oh my God, let's do this. And we, and me and uh, the director, Robin Flender and, and Eldon and Seth got together. And um, it was awesome. It was so good to see those dudes again. And this roof was full of stoners watching. I mean, like I did, Sounds I, about I, right. I had no idea. <laughs> and all of a sudden the movie's projected on this wall and, and every, all you hear is like lighters, like clicking and then all of a sudden there's clouds of weed and i'm like oh my god this this uh this movie is for certain people <laughs> it, it sure is was this pre-pandemic or was this a social yeah it was pre-pandemic yeah. was pre -pandemic. everything's pre-pandemic pre -pandemic. i've been in this house for, for two years it was it was uh i think it was 2018 yeah was well we'd be excited for a part two reunion anytime that we want to you know get people back together once it's safe and uh getting uh 
90s nostalgia and 2000s nostalgia is a very in right now and we're here for it for sure. Yeah. Uh, what do fans recognize you from the most out of everything? Nothing. I don't know. I, 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 my wife says that I'm recognized more than I think that I am, which is scary because I, I just go out into public and I'm a pretty crazy weird guy. And so I just go about my day and, and uh, she says that people recognize me more than I think I, they, I do, they do. Um, Final Destination was for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know now. There's this mixture of everything, you know? Yeah. Any particular scenes uh, that stick out to you? Because I know that I personally can't drive behind a semi that's like holding a bunch of logs yeah. or anything like that. That's, I always, I always project into like the worst case that, scenario. <laughs> I get, I get more log pictures through windshields yes. in my Instagram DMs than, than that and Casper, can I keep use? Um, of course. But yeah, the, the, there's Final Destination is, has really impacted a lot of people. A lot of those guys, like, uh i sat beside tony todd on a flight one time and we took a we took a picture and, and it went kind of viral um, I bet. yeah but people really have their 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 final destination kills their favorites yeah the ones um, that really stay with you yeah yeah well and chucky certainly has scenes like that as well going um yes. all the way back to the original child's play we can't wait to see this kickoff Halloween season. And we saw that you wore a Chucky mask at a coffee shop recently. Are you taking it next level for the actual holiday? Are the kids' costumes getting involved? You know what? Don Mancini posted something on Facebook today that uh, Chucky is the fifth uh, most Googled costume this year or something like that. Like that's like, it's climbing back into the ranks. We're gonna see a lot of Chuckies out there on the street. What am I going to, I don't know whether I got a, I got tons. I bought tons. I'm so proud to be on the show that I've got like sweatshirts and t-shirts and masks. And All I the got merch. Like, oh, I'm, I'm hopefully like going to be like in the Chucky family for a while. Cause I, I really love it. Um, maybe my, maybe I'll convince one of my kids to go as Chucky for, for Halloween. I think, I think both of them would be here for that. And we could have me like Chucky twins. I think that'd Perfect. be great. <laughs> Absolutely. But you also have a uh, gasoline alley coming up with Bruce Willis mm -hmm. and Luke Wilson. Uh, what else can fans look forward to that's on your plate? Um, what the Black Friday with, with Bruce Campbell's coming out? I got gasoline alley with Bruce Willis coming out and Luke Wilson, who is amazing. Um, I'm going off to do a movie in Jersey. Uh, what else? Do I, I, I feel like I'm missing something. I got, I'm just, I'm very fortunate to be working very for in, in this, in this, you know, crazy pandemic. It's been tough, but you know, I'm doing a lot of cool stuff. No, that's great. And, you know, we can't wait to see this latest iteration of Child's Play. Uh, you as two characters, Chucky's back, the fam is back, a little bit of something new for uh, newcomers as well. Uh, congrats on everything. And happy thank you. Halloween. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure right, talking. Thank you so much. You too.